good morning. So uh, today is all about exploring around Glencoe and the first spot is the uh, waterfall at the base of the Bukyle, I'm probably not saying that right, mountain. Um, and like the cottage from the previous video, this is one of those sort of cliche pictures that everyone takes and um, apparently you'll never be here on your own. So that uh, makes sense that I'm here on my own. Um, I don't know where everyone else is. The top of the mountain is slightly obscured by clouds, so maybe people haven't come out, but I thought uh, I would grab a shot while I can. Nothing to say, I can't come back a little later. Um, let's negotiate the mud. Today I did bring the wellies. Um, you can see a lot of footprints. People have obviously been here before. Uh, right, anyway, I'll stop talking and uh, find a picture or two. still have this place completely to myself and no one's turned up, which is quite unusual. Um, so I took some pictures of the uh, sort of main bit of waterfall and I've now come round a little bit along the shoreline um, just to grab this one. It gives a clearer view of the mountain behind, which is just catching a little bit of light actually, so I'm going to hit the shutter again. Um, starting to look very nice. Um, yeah, it's um, it's a lovely spot. Um, I'm just amazed there's no one here. It's bizarre. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to stop talking and grab a few more pictures while the sunlight is just hitting the mountain. from the, uh, the main waterfalls I'm just grabbing a couple of shots of the river and mountain there with the uh, little tree just here um, which shooting from down on the water's edge uh, stands out against the horizon quite nicely um, anyway I've got lots of pictures from here um, I'm hoping they'll come out alright uh, I think what I'll do now is head back to the car. I'm going to drive down um, Glenateve, which is a sort of long road to a dead end, basically. Um, but there's meant to be some nice scenery down there. So I think that's the next stop. So I'm just uh, on the way back from the far end of Glenateve. I drove down as far as the lock, um, but it wasn't that inspiring for photos really, I mean it was very nice but um, nothing really stood out as being interesting. Um, so I've just pulled over uh, halfway back up the road and I'm just sort of grabbing a shot up there, I don't know if you can see the um, the sky's a bit blown out on this camera but there's actually some quite nice cloud and uh, similarly uh, in the other direction. If I do that, no it doesn't show it, you'll have to wait until you see the actual picture. 
Um, but anyway, it's um, it's a quiet spot. There's a bit of traffic going backwards and forwards, but not too many people. Um, all very tranquil. Uh, but yeah, I shall now head back in the car up to the main road through Glencoe, I think, and uh, drive down to the far end to the petrol station to fill up the car and myself. But uh, yeah, maybe grab another couple of pictures on the way along this road if I see anything of interest. heavy rain so I've been hiding in the car and eating a sandwich um, but it has stopped um, it's got a lot colder now um, so I've just sort of moved back up to the eastern um, end of the Glen I guess and uh, I'm just sort of grabbing pictures shooting back down towards the mountains there um, with these little rocks in the foreground um, and I think I might head back in that direction as well um, because I couldn't really get a shot of the Three Sisters earlier, um, which is the mountains, not um, some random girls hanging around in a car park. Um, so I think, yeah, we're going to aim in that direction now and uh, see if I can grab an image of those now the clouds have lifted a little bit. So I did uh, take a picture from the parking spot down on the main road earlier, uh, just when it stopped raining. Um, but it's very uh, hard to fit everything in, you're sort of quite close underneath the three mountains. Um, so it's tricky even with my 15mm lens to fit all three in. So what I've done is I've gone to another parking spot and uh, she walked up the hill a little bit as a sort of footpath. And you can see how high above the road we are. Um, thinking I'd be a little bit further away and able to fit everything in but um, unfortunately we're still a little bit close so what I've done is I've actually taken two shots with the 15 which I will try and stitch together um, hopefully that will make an okay panorama um, but the view down the valley is quite nice as well so uh, I've taken a shot of that um, but yeah it's now starting to rain so I'm going to walk back down the hill and to the car View of Ben Nevis behind it, but as you can see, it's uh, somewhat disappeared into the clouds. But I think the boat makes for a nice subject anyway. So uh, I'll grab a couple of images of that and then uh, we fill up the car and continue heading north.
Kairang, Kwarang, I don't actually know how you pronounce it, um, which is very pretty in both directions. So I'm just going to wander along the path for, well, an hour or so, I guess, which will then take me to about the right time to uh, head to the accommodation. So the uh, rain seems to have eased off for now, which is good. So let's see if I can get one or two images here. Visited tomorrow, depending on what the conditions are like. So uh, yeah, arrived in uh, arrived in Sky yesterday, and on the way out to um, my dinner last night, because I had to drive back down to the main town, Portree. Um, the old man of store was looking uh, quite ominous in the sort of cloud, just being illuminated by the last of the twilight sky. So I grabbed a shot from the roadside of that, um, which hopefully will come out well. I haven't looked at it yet. So I'll end this video here, um, and I think in the next video it'll be the day looking around some uh, some spots in Sky. So thank you for watching, um, and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>